So how do we stop the massacres like the one that occurred in Newtown? President Obama this week rolled up his sleeves and here are a few of his suggestions. Number seven, launch a national safe and responsible gun ownership campaign. Now, do you really think a criminal in possession of an illegal gun about to commit a crime is going to stop and take a listen to your responsible gun ownership campaign? And number four, the president says that he will direct the attorney general to review the category of individuals prohibited from having a gun. Really? Aren't all criminals and the mentally ill already prohibited from owning a gun? That hasn't stopped them. Number 11, the president says there should be a nomination of an ATF director. By the way, Mr. President, isn't that something you should have done during the Fast and Furious debacle when we were furiously shipping assault rifles into the hands of the Mexican drug cartel? And the president's number 13, maximize enforcement efforts to prevent gun violence and prosecute gun crime. This from a president under whose watch gun crime prosecutions have gone down 40 percent. Now I've dedicated my professional life to prosecuting criminals. I've been on every side of the gun issue. I've arrested, indicted, convicted, and sentenced gun traffickers. I've reviewed pistol permits to determine who should even carry a gun. And I have fought for tougher gun laws. You want to know how to stop gun crime? It doesn't start with the punishment of law-abiding citizens. You don't hamper us in the exercise of our Second Amendment right. What you do is you prosecute gun crime. You increase the penalties for any illegal gun possession and the use of guns in any crime. You create mandatory minimum sentences for gun criminals. You coordinate investigations with local prosecutors who have their ear to the ground. You don't limit the number of bullets in our magazines so that the criminal gets to outgun us. You allow for the confinement of the dangerous 